All right, good morning. Here we go. Just finished the 3.55 mile run today. Uh, a little bit slower, felt great. I'm just, uh, I, I, it's going to break loose here really, really quick. I promise you. Uh, I promise myself when I say a little bit slower, uh, it was like 12 seconds slower than yesterday. So, uh, anyways, it still felt good. I felt light, uh, especially in that back half of the run, and I uh, was really able to push myself through it. Um, and not nearly as tired as I have been. So anyways, just a little, a couple of things I need to work out on, on my pace and, and the way that I push myself and uh, keep this up. I'll be pulling off PBRs here pretty soon on the three and a half mile run. Uh, anyways, um, it's really important that we have a strong why. Why am I doing this? Why do I need to do something? Why do I need to change? Uh, without that, it's really, really, really hard. I, I, don't, know, I, I don't know that I wanna say it's impossible uh, would love to hear your thoughts, but uh, you've got to have a strong why. And when I think about why, there are a couple of ways that I think about it. Um, and this is something that I, I've learned in my sales career. A lot of what I, I'm sharing with you all, I've learned from just being in sales and a lot of the psychology behind sales. It works in other areas as well. So why? Um, a lot of times our reasons are pain motivated. Are you motivated by pain? Um, you get on the scale, you see where you're at, maybe you get your blood pressure checked, your heart rate checked, uh, you have other indicators that your health may not be what it should be, and maybe your your overall trajectory does not look good from a health standpoint. And so uh, if you're worried about things like diabetes, heart disease, cancer, obesity, and other health lifestyle related issues that could be a strong why i know we don't like to think about those things a lot of times we can get in denial we can think you know i'm different those things are something that other people will struggle with not me uh, but whenever you can look at the big picture and see like i did see you know maybe that my future uh, could involve some of those things if i don't change my lifestyle and maybe I was on the verge. That could be a huge motivator. Those are pain motivators. All of those uh, for a lot of us can be like what, what I would call future pain. So maybe right here, right this second, I it, you know, didn't have diabetes or at least didn't know that I did, but uh, future pain can look and see, okay, that could be coming if I don't change things. Um, there's also temporary or not, not temporary, but pain now motivators so um, you know some of my pains were my clothes weren't fitting I didn't have good energy um, you know I, I was tired all the time didn't like the way that I looked those are all pain now uh, things that can be really really strong and then the other side of this is what I'll call gain so you got pain and then you've got gain you've got um, the more the more positive side so are you pain motivated or are you gain motivated? Um, are you pleasure motivated? And uh, those things can be, you know, in the future sense, um, just really want to be able to wear a certain size, want to look a certain way, want to feel a certain way, want to be able to uh, do certain things, want to be able to compete, you know, compete in a 5K, compete in a flag football league, um, be able to get out there and get it done. Um, maybe something that might not happen right away, but down the road that you could see that that's a strong why for you. Um, other pleasure motivated things, maybe things that are a little more short term um, are that I want to accomplish something. I do want to lose five pounds. I do want to feel a little bit better. I do want to clean up my diet so that I'll feel better. Uh, so think about that. Think about what your why is. There could be much bigger whys. Um, would love to hear what you guys think if you've got a why and uh, just dig deep, find out what the why is, write those things down. That's where you can get uh, not, you know, your why isn't necessarily your goal, but you can build your goal off of your why. But if you don't have a good why, then it's going to be really hard to get out of bed every day and get it done. Uh, hope that helps. Have a great day. Keep the BA. God bless.